sky. You can see pink tinges on the bottom of the clouds. Today is the October the 23rd, 2016. Yeah. Yeah, still pretty respectably pink here. So maybe it hasn't changed that much. This is all October the 25th. Looks like uh, this apartment complex is uh, having a pink flag. <laughs> yeah, somebody's flaunting their pink today. This is kind of strange. <laughs> Might pick it up here. See how pink that is? Looks kind of strange, but it looks more pink when I look at it than through the camera view picture here. So I'm not sure what to make of this. Really weird. <laughs> Today's the 26th. Take a look at those clouds, man. You can see them. Angelina Ballerina definitely drops. These are bomb clouds. Look how they pile from the bottom up. October 26, 2016. About 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Whoa, that's an interesting uh, cloud formation. Look at that. Goes all the way up like that. Take a look at that cloud formation there. Whoa. That is definitely bizarre looking. Here's another view. Take a look at that. I mean, it looks like it fills up half the sky. That is just insane. I'm starting something new to help me to stay within my tight budget. And I found that by putting my grocery list on Microsoft Excel and looking at my receipts to see how much everything costs, I can plan an exact grocery list. And I plan on sticking to this list exactly when I go shopping and only making exceptions like if they're out of an item. And this is just a, something that I came up with as a tool that I can use to help me stay within my budget so that I can obey the Gale Commandments, you know, and save $100 a month like the Lord wants me to. So it's not easy. So I um, I have to stick to this very strict, very, very strict, and I only spend money on food and bills. And... uh and I basically, and sometimes when I go through the day, I think I'm going to run out of this in probably three weeks, and then I'll put it on my budget for the. Uh, I I'm planning like three grocery lists all at once: the one that, that immediately, and then the one two weeks from then, and then a one a, a month away. And that way, I can by uh, by avoiding impulse shopping and sticking to my list. I think I'm going to be able to save a lot of money and uh, make sure that. I am able to obey all the Gale commandments. Also, by doing this, I realized that um, some areas where I was spending a lot of money, like spending way too much money on frozen strawberries and spending way too much money on non-fat sour cream and on peanuts. So in order for me to stay within my budget, I had to cut on those. So, uh, And then I always make sure I'm eating balanced. So I make sure I'm getting enough of the fats and carbohydrates and proteins and uh, 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 oh, is it what's it? What is it? Fats, proteins, carbohydrates. Anyways, uh, Jesus said balance diet. So I noticed that using MyFitnessPal.com that I've been kind of low on the carbs, and that's because I wanted to be 126 pounds. But I've decided it's better to be like 130, 131, which is where I'm at right now, than 126 and broke. So <laughs> I've decided it's more important to stay within budget than to be 126 pounds. So 5'7", small bones, 130, 31. It's not the end of the world.
Right now, there is a big divide in the Catholic Church with those who support ex-Antichrist Zach Knight and those who support current Antichrist Angelina Ballerina. Angelina Ballerina is a cafeteria Catholic who picks and chooses which Catholic doctrine, doctrines suit her and actually has no moral convictions other than the conviction that she is right about everything no matter how inconsistent she is and that everything she wants is right. Angelina has a very strong us-them mentality, and those who are them she will murder heartlessly in a cruel and vindictive manner with absolutely no regard to any of their rights and in total, total disdain for any laws that might stop her. Her philosophy is might makes right, and she will stop at nothing to gain world power for Satan. Zack Knight, on the other hand, was evil as the Antichrist, but did love Rule 13, and did try in his own way to be true to his set of standards. Angelina has no standards other than a lust for power and a lust for sex in every disgusting form. The main difference between Zack and Angelina was that Zack was on a mission and admired those who shared his ideals. Angelina's only mission is herself as an object of sex worship and worship in all forms and will change her moral positions in a heartbeat as long as she comes out on top. Currently, the Catholic Church is split down the middle between Angelina supporters and Zack Knight supporters. Zack Knight, at the end of August 2016, also accepted Jesus and is currently the number three man on my marriage list. He is one of the more unorthodox members of my, of my marriage list, but I've always admired courage, and Zack has shown a lot of courage in the past two months. Angelina is a coward who would never put her life on the line for any conviction because she has no moral convictions. This makes her a thousand times more evil than Zack Knight, who did and does have moral convictions. Angelina is more like her master Satan than was Zack. Satan is loyal to nobody but himself and will abandon anyone aligned to him if he thinks it will help him out regardless of whether or not he's being treacherous. Treachery, disloyalty, and selfishness describe Satan and his kindred spirit right-hand person, Angelina Ballerina. Those who follow her are fools who are only destroying themselves while Satan laughs about this in private. Satan's mission is to destroy Jesus Christ and God the Father, and he doesn't care who he has to destroy to do it. He will make the attempt and will lie and deceive his followers into believing that he is their ally in a war against God for God's unfairness to punish sin. Totally self-absorbed, Satan and Angelina have one very important trait in common. They hate everybody but themselves, and this is what will destroy them. Satan felt he had to dump Zack because Zack was capable of love, and so he has now chosen for his new Antichrist a person incapable of love, Angelina Ballerina. But Satan, you are going to lose. This won't work. God created the universe to operate on the law of love, and all that goes against that will be destroyed so that God's love can reign for eternity. God created the universe to be this way, and as a loving God, he will make sure his purposes are carried out. The main difference between Zack Knight as the Jesuit leader and Angelina Ballerina is that Zack tried to be loyal to his followers, and Angelina Ballerina doesn't give a flip about anyone but herself. If Angelina had to choose between saving herself or any of her followers, she would choose herself always. Like Satan, she is incapable of love or commitment or devotion to anyone but herself. Zack might feel a bit bad if he destroyed you for following him, but Angelina feels nothing but contempt for anyone but herself. She hates everybody and only uses them for selfish purposes. She only aligns herself with Satan because they are such kindred spirits they get along. But Satan is going to learn that aligning himself with another selfish being just like him may not always work out to his advantage. Angelina is so utterly selfish that in the long run she will bring Satan's downfall. Angelina is a coward 
who is always worried that Satan might sack her like he did Zack Knight. So she's going out of her way to prove to Satan that she is more evil and cold than Zack Knight was as the Antichrist. Problem is, even evil people like to believe that they follow someone who cares for them. Once they figure out that Angelina hates everybody, she will start losing followers, and then Satan will lose. Angelina likes to portray herself to her followers as a more worthy Antichrist than Zack Knight, who she claims failed, and so Satan had to replace him. But Angelina, you neglect to point out why Zack Knight failed. He failed because he was capable of love. Those of you who follow Angelina, ask yourself, do you want to follow a being, Satan and Angelina, who hates you and would murder you in a second, like Angelina tried to do with Rule 13, if it would help them to gain power regardless of whether the murder was justified? Angelina likes to say she's smarter than Zack, and that's why she, she succeeded where Zack failed. But that's not true. Zack actually has a higher IQ than Angelina. My men tested both of them. Also, Zack Knight led the Jesuits for more than a decade and managed to get quite a following. Angelina has only reigned for a couple months, and thus far, her reign is not that impressive. She claims that because my Gale Shield defeated Zack and killed off all the Jesuits, that means she is the superior Antichrist. But you Jesuits need to ask yourself why you are following Satan, who claims to represent your interest. Do you realize that Satan, like his kindred spirit Angelina, would murder you in a second, in violation of all his promises to you, if he thought it would help him defeat Jesus? Satan hates everybody but himself. Is this who you want to follow? Satan rejected Zack Knight and allowed all the Jesuits to die under the Gale Shield by lying to Zack Knight and telling Zack that the Gale Shield would fail because I was using it to protect people other than myself and was weakening it. Therefore, he lied to Zack because he planned to sack Zack and replace Zack with Angelina. Satan also tried to murder his follower, Rule 13. Why did Satan lie to Zack Knight and try to murder Rule 13? Satan felt that a more selfish Antichrist, one incapable of love like himself, would help him against the Gale Shield. Satan is absolutely committed to knock me down no matter what the cost, even if it means he has to destroy every Jesuit to do it. Satan has already done this once and will do it again, if this is what he has to do to try and defeat God. All you Jesuits who follow Satan are fools! You are following a being who hates you and will have fun in hell while you burn with him. He wants followers not because he cares about them, but because he hates them. He knows it makes God sad when God has to send people to hell, and he delights in causing God misery for creating hell and the lake of fire for him and his fallen angels, the UFOs. You might say, <clears throat> Why doesn't Satan just surrender and become Lucifer again? Well, he was Lucifer for what I think was millions of years, and I'm sure his decision to turn evil didn't happen overnight. He concluded that he was evil and could not change, and so his eternity is set. His only goal right now is to make God miserable, and so he lies to his followers and tries to convince them that he's on their side. When he's only on his own side... Satan, like Angelina Ballerina, hates you because God created you and because you can go to heaven and he cannot. You see, he feels he cannot change, and perhaps this is true. But I'm sure God is hoping after Satan burns for millions of years that perhaps he'll have a change of heart and become Lucifer again. In the meanwhile, Satan knows that the only thing that might cause God to change his mind about hell is to make God so miserable because of all the humans burning in hell that God might change his mind and eliminate hell and accept Satan the way he is. It won't happen, folks, and I think Satan knows this deep down inside. He just hates God and hates you and loves making God miserable. <coughs> That is his motive for everything he does. He hates you because God loves you and because you can go to heaven and he cannot. Any Jesuit who wants to come over to God's side, who
who died for you on the cross to pay for your sins, just say the sinner's prayer. I'll have a link for that right underneath this video.